Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new tutorial and in this edition we're just going to go ahead and tackle a prison toilet now this will be sort of semi detailed I guess it won't be a hundred percent detailed but we'll go ahead and actually see what we can do so without further ado let's start modeling now I'm going to go ahead and do this start off with this uh, this bit over here and then work my way up to the main sort of basin sort of area so what I'll do I'm going to begin with a, poly a planar po uh, polygon and oops need to sort out my toilet yep by the way this I'm using the same file that I used uh, the DAL tutorial of the modeling chair so instead of making a new um, file for this, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the same thing. The main reason for that is I'm just too lazy to set up the renders again. So let's go ahead and continue with our toilet modeling. Okay. So the idea is to the idea is to see how I do things and it isn't really a tutorial which covers what buttons to push or which uh, where to press or what all these functions does and stuff like that it's just basically a modeling technique that I am sharing with you guys um, so what I'm doing now is just holding shift and dragging this piece and with that done I'm just going to apply a symmetry modifier and this will sort of mirror things to this way now what we have here is slightly too wide so only someone big could fit in here not your ideal prison toilet I guess so what I'm doing now you could actually go ahead and create yourself a uh, blueprint in Photoshop just to make things a lot easier but I'm just estimating here now if you look at here, the opening is sort of a teardrop shape, so what I'm doing now is actually trying to get that in here. And the final piece. there we go now if you notice the opening of this slightly starting to look to uh, slightly coming com com together um, now obviously we have to do this bit so what I need what I'm doing now is actually pulling these guys together just to form the seat that way we want and the shape we're looking for and with this we'll just create this and start really tucking things up together now and as you notice here as it sort of but it reaches this area this bit narrows which is what I'm actually trying to achieve in this bit over here there we 
go. There we go. And what we can do is collapse this whole thing together, create a sort of a give it a not four by four that's a bit too much let's give it three by three there we go that should be it collapse it once more and just tweak things up over here now with that done if we hit P go on our perspective we have something of this so what we do now is um, if we look at the other picture if you notice this thing is going downwards a little bit so what we can do is select the border over here switch to your edge now holding shift I can just drag this down a little bit like that now with that done if I go to the left and check my left view what I'm trying to do now is mimic the sort of a the way this sort of the bottom it shapes so in order to do that all we can do is push this up a little bit push this down a little bit as well and we can also grab this and push this down a little bit hit P and this is our shape collapse it and do the same thing with over here and this time what I'm doing is I'm trying to create this little piece over here and at this stage I wouldn't worry too much about detailing the idea now is to actually capture as much of the shape as possible going on top view switch to my uh, scale hold shift and scale it that will give you a little piece and if we hit perspective now what this has done is it given you a uh, a planer to play with change to your move transform tool and shift and drag it down a little bit now with that done what we can do now is repeat it once more but this time scale it so this is going to be the opening of the toilet I guess repeat it once more push it down switch to your transform tool scale this and if we look at this picture this is how it actually is going it's happening now what we can do is scale this a little bit up for now and just for reference sake what we can do is we can insert a transform a cylinder I mean and using our vertices we can just use this cylinder that we created as a guide just to get the shapes in place and create a, uh, a, a nice round piece and what I'm doing now is basically just trying to create if I hit switch to my wired mode now 
sort of get the shape that I needed. I can see it sort of coming along. And we're not going to be little. We're not going to be little uh, too picky for this. We're just going to make sure that we have enough sort of space these uh, vertices out. Okay, go back to our perspective. Edge and if I push this up a little bit and maybe drag it a little bit back and if we just look at our reference this is what we have um, we have a little piece over here so what we do is holding shift I'm just dragging this a little bit down and that should do the trick okay so now what we do is check our other picture and what we actually need to do is using these two polygon it is this is create this piece over here I'll go back to perspective, extrude this a little bit, come to this wall over here, that's where the base is going to be at. So now what we can do is, using our border, we can, holding shift, drag this a little bit down, and let's start basically building bridge between the two uh, the faces so let's create faces in this area okay I'll come back to that face okay and if I hit ring that will select all this face and I'll Hit connect, insert a edge loop over here, and now we can complete closing this piece up and repeat the same thing over here. There we go. And what we can do is select this whole piece and slightly drag it down a little bit just to create. Maybe place this back up. There we go. Now with that done, what we can do is select this whole thing and just drag it down. Now with that done, what I think actually is happening here, is if we select this whole piece, F3 and select this piece, hit loop, I think this bit is a little bit too thick compared to what we have in our reference. So if we just push this up a little bit, that should do the trick. There we go. And okay, before we before we move on from this piece, let's start adding a little bit more details into here. Now we're going to eventually smooth this model. So if we actually insert a turbo smooth now and exit our wire mode see the full mesh if you look at this this isn't really that good looking it looks more like a like a tea mug or or some sort of a deformed cup or something so uh, if we just disable this turbo smooth for, for now go back to our wire mode let's start adding edges into this so if I click this edge hit ring we should select all these edges hit connect and add two segments pinch these two together just a little bit like that hit ok let's do the same thing to over here ring um, before we do that let's just connect one piece first hit ok push this up a little bit just to create a little 
sort of a smooth result in the end. Click this, ring, connect. Let's slide this up to over here. There we go. Here, okay. If we switch our turbo smooth now, this is slightly looking better, I would say. If we check our top view, this bit is sort of bulging out a little bit. So what we can do is select this whole entire piece and push this in a little bit. So there we go. Hit P, check our model. Okay, uh, this is coming together a little bit better. Now let's keep adding Let's keep adding a little more edges into here. Connect. Slide it up a little bit. Actually, maybe slide it down a little bit it's over here. Hit OK. Let's see how this turns out. It's slightly better. We're going to sort this piece out in a bit. Let's continue adding same thing with this sort of a hidden piece under the toilet seat. If we hit ring, connect it, add two, make sure our slide is not on, and sort of pinch this together, that should be fine. Let's do the same thing over here, ring, connect, pinch it up. That's better. And finally, if we look at inside the toilet, it looks like we do have this ring and that's going to create be created by this. And actually, let's create one piece in here. Ring, just one bit. Slide this up. go hit OK and let's do the same thing in here ring connect pinch this inwards to about there hit OK same thing in here ring connect to pinch this up there we go now if we just check our turbo once more there you go this is slightly turning out to be a little bit the way we wanted it maybe what we can do is hit our edge select all these three loop it using our scale mode we can just scale this in a little bit there we go this is much better and with that done let's finish this piece up here over here hit P and what we need to do is create a ring over here connect this again to that should be fine Okay, and if we create a ring in here, that will just loop it up by here. And this isn't really what we need, so what we can do is sort of detach this, I guess. P Um, or what we can do is we can just undo this or just unselect these guys yep, unselect these guys and if we select this one if we hit connect one time and give it one segment that should center things up and we shouldn't really see much difference in the model and finally what we do over here 
you select this holding control I'm going to make a ring to where I want it there we go hit connect slide this to this side and then hit OK vertices where is our cut let's get this put it in the center and put it in here same thing let's put this let's cut this over here where is our model we created our edge loop oh here we go this is it for I lost it here we go and now we have a nice smooth edge without actually affecting the model now it will be slightly more um, time consuming if we were to do the same thing over here so what I'd like to do is go get rid of this turbo smooth for now center our pivot go to our modifier and add a symmetry on here and that's just going to and if I hit flip that should repeat what we've done this side to the other side and if we look at our model we do have a slight problem in here what if we have add a turbo smooth actually well here we go this is what I expected This should do it. Oh, actually, I think it would be better to repeat what we've done on this side. Symmetry is not really working for us now. Okay, what we'll do is repeat what we've done before, which is connect, give it one uh, segment, slide it this way, hit OK, repeat the same thing, and she select these guys, and hit connect, slide it to the edge, that should be about there, should be fine and now we just connect it's not really that long if I'm just going to think of it just being a little too lazy experimenting with symmetry modifier and that's until it decided not to work for me and if we check out turbo smooth we should have what's going on here okay get that with over here not really if we add more turbo we should actually have a better result but I suspect it's something to do with this area not having enough edges for it to work on one level of subdiv not really but you know I think this it should be fine because anyway this whole area will be covered well, let me just while I'm at it let me just delete this there we go 
and this I think is good enough for now to be concluded as part one so if I show you from what we have this is what we have made so far and actually come to think of it if we hit if we check our top view we cut this up a little bit make a 4x4 four four. what we can do is we can even insert this a little bit sort of bring this a little bit together get this and bring this up a little bit like this maybe select these two and expand them up like that collapse it all paste it here's our <laughs> prison toilet now if I just get this Show you from what we have so far. There you go. And I think this should do it. Just one last thing. Just a little too picky. If I hit my vertices, I can actually push this down a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now that's part one done. When we come back, we'll go ahead and continue doing the rest of this basin. And with that done, I'll see you in part two.